Hello, and welcome to the Ecom Planning Suite online tutorials. This is one in a series of video tutorials demonstrating the functionality and components of the Ecom Planning Suite. At the end of this tutorial, you will be able to add a GIS map and data table from CPD Maps into a Comp Plan in IDIS. Adding maps and data to the consolidated plan can be an effective tool for illustrating data and analyzing neighborhoods or target areas. One of the features of the Consolidated Plan template in IDIS is the ability to upload maps and data tables directly from CPD Maps. Let's look at a specific example of how to add a map from CPD Maps to a Comp Plan. In this tutorial, we will add a map to illustrate housing cost burden. To get started, under the Needs Assessment section, click NA25 Disproportionately Greater Need Housing Cost Burden. Scroll down to the Housing Cost Burden table. There is a disproportionately greater housing cost burden for Black and Hispanic households. To illustrate where the areas with highest cost burden are, we will add a map of the share of households experiencing housing cost burden to complement the table. To start, Click Add GIS Map. A new browser window displaying CPD Maps will appear. The map will automatically zoom to the grantee's jurisdiction, in this case, for Hammond, Indiana. To create a map, click on the Layer widget on the top menu bar. The Layer widget lists all of the available map layers within CPD Maps. To add housing cost burden, Click Community Indicators, then Housing Need, and then Affordability. Select Housing Cost Burden. The map now depicts housing cost burden within the jurisdiction by Census Tract. Once you are satisfied with your map, export it back to the IDIS template by clicking the Print widget. In the print widget, enter a title and click Export to IDIS. A pop-up box will appear that reads, Map and Legend Image Successfully Exported to IDIS. Click OK to close the box. Back in IDIS, save the current page. Once it is saved, the map is listed under the Housing Cost Burden table. To view the map, click the View link under the Action column. To remove it, click Delete. In addition to adding maps to the template, you can also import custom data tables from CPD Maps into the plan to supplement the default data. In this example, it was found during consultation that minority renters are experiencing especially high levels of cost burden. To support this, we will add a data table with the information for the entire city. To add a GIS data table demonstrating housing cost burden, click Add GIS Data under the Housing Cost Burden table. As before, a new browser window will open to display CPD maps. The map automatically zooms to the grantee's jurisdiction. Again, in this case, for Hammond, Indiana. To select a target area for the data table, choose a jurisdiction level from the drop-down menu. In this case, CDBG Grantee. Then, use the Point Drawing tool to select the target jurisdiction for the table. Make sure Export to IDIS is checked at the bottom of the screen. Once you select your target area, click Next. Choose the data to include in the table. In this example, select greater than 50% for renters under the cost burden category. Click Finish. A pop-up box will appear that reads, Report successfully exported to IDIS. Click OK to close the box. 
Back in IDIS, save the current page. Once the current page in IDIS is saved, the newly created data table will be listed under the Housing Cost Burden table. To view the data table, click View. To remove it, click Delete. Thank you for participating in the online tutorial on adding maps and data to the comp plan. For additional tutorials and resources, please go to the 1CPD Resource Library.